trying to steal your money through fake phone calls and emails, but some are still trying to get your cash by sending you fake letters. Local 12 troubleshooter Howard Ain takes a look at one such offer and explains why it may not be illegal. Sometimes what arrives in the mail is not what it appears to be. That's what a Lexington woman learned about the letters she received. It's sort of a scare tactic to make you think that you need to do that to stay in compliance. No mincing words, KU's is talking about this mailing used to lure people into paying unnecessary fees. Use is head of an alumni association required to file papers with the state for tax purposes. This company would be glad to file my reports for me, um, write the reports, and, and submit them for me uh, for a fee. Normally the process costs $15, but this letter says the fee would be $150. I've done this for 8 to 10 years, and I thought this is the first time I've ever heard of any kind of a $150 fee for you know something that was required. She was afraid there had been some sort of change in the laws and something new was required. Kay noticed a few things that looked suspicious, like the misspelling of a street, Lee's Town, should be one word. Also, the return address was a UPS box, so she called postal inspectors. Somewhat a form of trickery. Inspectors say they see mailings like this every year around this time of year. As long as they provide that service, it's not fraud, but you don't have to go through them. You can just file with the state for $15 like you do every year. Also, a major fee increase should be a red flag. When you see that $150 or an amount that you know you didn't pay last year, you want to know what's going on. Why would they be, why would they be asking that? I thought it was pretty sneaky for someone to, um, I guess, maybe play on your, your doubts about what the, pro what the real process was. Postal inspectors say if you receive a suspicious mailing, always check with the state attorney general or Better Business Bureau to see if it's legitimate. Howard A, Local 12 Troubleshooter.